here. I've got a handful of rules of content for you. First rule, who is the content for? Right? Who's your target audience? Who are you trying to get to engage with the content? If you don't have a vision of who you're speaking to, or worse, your answer is you're trying to speak to everybody, you're doing it wrong. Just stop. I go to networking events all the time. I run a little group called Motor City Connect. Anybody heard of Motor City Connect? Yeah. A couple, six of you? Okay, for those of you that didn't turn around, it was maybe six in a row. So thanks, that's really cool. Very grateful for that. Uh, and Luther, thanks for the ball. This will distract everybody in the entire room as I sit here and do this the whole time. <laughs> Put the ball down, Terry. Okay, it'll be right there. Um, when I go to Motor City Connect, we do this thing called the ask. And in the beginning of the meeting, people stand up and they introduce themselves. And they tell us who they're looking for. And every time, half the room says, I'm looking for anyone or everyone who does X, Y, or Z. Right? And maybe they don't even say who does X, Y, or Z because that's almost a qualifier. Here's the challenge. When you think you're speaking to anyone or everyone, you're speaking to no one. If your content doesn't dot your intended audience right between the eyes, no one's gonna hear it. We live in a hyper attention deficit disorder world. Right? Not just ADD anymore. <laughs> Hyper ADD. Yeah. Right? That's why happy you raised your hand when I said, who's busy in here? <laughs> busy and productive, mm -hmm. not the same thing. Mm -hmm. Not the same thing. We're going to talk about a couple of reasons there are ways to eliminate some of that busyness. Right? But if you're speaking directly to your audience, Right? In a way that you eliminate a lot of the people, right? You're only speaking to a small select group of people, but that's better. Right? I talk to folks all the time about this networking thing, and they're like, well, if I limit who might be a fit, then I'm going to limit the amount of referrals that I get. I liken it to the idea of fishing. As a Native American, I have the ability to go fish with a gill net. Right? So a gill net is something that I can go throw out in the lake, I can drag it across the lake, I can throw it on the shore, and I can look at all the fish I caught. And maybe I caught a tire or an old shoe and a rusty can, but there's probably some fish in there too. Fun fact about fish. <laughs> Much like referrals, not all of them are the right fit. Some fish taste like shit. <laughs> so, stop trying to be all things to all people. Get that target audience in mind. Write to one person. Think who that is and communicate that content to them. Obviously, if you're speaking to a person, there are people that are like that person, right? So consider that your avatar. You start there. Once you figure out how to do that, then you have to think about what the attraction pieces are, right? What kind of stuff are you going to use to attract an audience? Well, there's a handful of different types of content that I recommend. My favorite is humor. I like funny. Anybody like funny in this room? Oh, look, a lot of you. How fun. <laughs> yeah, that's really, really important. Now, granted, unless you're a stand-up comedian, any stand-up comedians in the room? Yeah, me neither. I'm really funny in a business setting. You put me on a comedy stage, not so funny at all. <laughs> unless you're a stand-up comedian, you can't do funny all the time. So my next favorite, stuff that motivates. Or more specifically, stuff that inspires. Fires. I love things that help people find the inspiration that lives inside of them. That's my jam. Anybody else like that? Good, 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 good. So you've got funny. You've got inspirational or motivational. The next thing you have 
are facts and stats. Especially those that folks are going to find alarming. Things that are going to be a surprise. If you can smash your audience over the head with something that they didn't know, they're going to go, oh, I didn't know that. Right? It falls under the category of informative. The more you can inform and educate your audience, the better. So, pro tip for you. You've been in your business for however long you've been in your business. I am sure that at some point your clients or your prospects have asked you a question. The longer you've been in your business, the more frequently you've heard that question, or the other one, or the other one, or the other one. 